Y'all, Scott Stock, I'm Scott Stock Photography. Today I'm going to show you how I took this shot. This shot right here was taken in Cypress Gardens, which is in South Carolina near Charleston. This is the same place where uh, a few scenes from The Notebook were filmed. When it comes to lighting, I try to carry one light at least. Sometimes I'll bring two. Uh, it all just kind of depends on the situation, how much time we have in uh, a given scenario or environment. This shot here was taken around like noon or 1 p.m., so like it was crazy harsh light. Um, the sun, as you would know during that time, is straight above, so it was really tricky to try to figure out ways to light. Also, did I mention we're in boats for that shot? I'm in a boat as well. So what made it even more tricky is not only do they need to get steady and centered anytime I'm trying to take a shot, I need to try to get steady and uh, centered anytime I'm trying to take the shot as well. It was just me and my boat and my camera gear. And I had a paddle where I would try to brace myself before making the shots, so that made it really tricky. Um, when shooting outside in harsh light, uh, things you want to try to do if you're going to use flash, try to get your couples in some kind of shade, okay? You're going to want to first expose for the ambient light, right? So whether you're going for a uh, high-speed sync and you're wanting to shoot a... Uh, uh, you know, F2, F1.8, F1.4, whatever, whatever kind of situation you want to do, you're going to have your shutter speed really high. Or some people won't shoot in high speed sync and they'll go to like F10 and be around shutter speed 1 over 200 or something like that. So it just depends on the look you're going for. But to get this shot here, uh, like I said, it was harsh light. Uh, we kind of paddled around and I got some candid shots during the day of them paddling and um, just kind of coasting around as we toured uh, uh, the Cypress Gardens. Uh, then I was always I'm always looking for like a creative shot, especially using flash. What made it tricky is obviously we're in water, and uh, I would look at some places on land where maybe I could put a flash and maybe snap a shot of them. But that was really tricky too because the terrain was pretty nasty. So what it, what we did find was this bridge, and the bridge had a white underbelly. So something to always pay attention to when you're shooting outdoors or you're shooting in any situation is surfaces that you can bounce light off. Okay, so they're on a boat. I can't put this uh, light stand in the water. I can't put it on land uh, with the particular area that we were in uh, due to the terrain, as I mentioned. But what I could do is put the flash in the belly of the boat, aim it up towards the roof of the bridge or the, the, the ceiling, of the underbelly and let that light bounce off that white underbelly and uh, back down on them and light them. So that's what we did here. Um, I put a uh, Godox 8200 with a mag sphere uh, in it and I put it on the floor of the boat and I got from distance and shot the light bounced on the underbelly, lit them and uh, I love the way it turned out. Kind of looks like a fairy tale to me. Um, I really love that shot. This is when I shot Sony. This was with the Sony a7R 3 and the Sigma 85 1.4 DGDN lens. And again, this was made with MagMod with a Godox 8200 and a MagSphere. So uh, that's how I got this shot. I'm going to play this video here for you and let you watch exactly how it went down, the BTS. And, uh, you know, that's really all you need when you're out in harsh light like that. Try to get your couples in a nice shaded spot and blast them with some light and you're good to go. Paddles down somewhere. Uh, bring the nose one more inch that way. Man, this is where I need somebody. Hold on. This is it. Okay, if you're good, let her keep holding to keep it centered. Brother, let me go ahead and let me have you put the paddle up. Y'all, these are so stupid. Okay, but we got to get a kiss, but I need to re-drift. Hold on one second. Hold on. This will be worth the time, but this boat, mother... God. Keep holding. There's, these are bananas. You're going to print these out. I'm going to print these out.